In our final form and shape video, we're going to look at using the pen tool. And to kind of get you started with the pen tool, the first thing you need to think about is that the pen tool is not like writing with a writing pen. Um, what the pen tool does is adds points. I'm actually going to change some things. It's usually easier to draw with a stroke and no fill, so we'll set that up. So I draw points and then the pen tool creates that path. So wherever I click down is where I'm adding a point and the paths are being drawn for me. This is a vector shape so it doesn't matter how I scale it or transform it, the quality stays the same. That obviously differs from a pixel based object which may experience a loss in quality as you scale it. So that was drawing straight lines. You can also draw curves. To draw a curve, you click, you click, and before you let go, you pull a direction handle. And that's what these are called. And there's several ways of working with these. Um, you can use the Alt key, pull that direction handle back, um, you can use the Alt key and move it. And what you need to know about direction handles are they tell the curve where to go before it goes to the point. So here this direction handle is saying come down in this direction before you go up to this point. This curve is created because this direction handle is saying come up here before you go down to this point. So if I click and pull, again saying come in that direction, if I move this direction handle even with that anchor point, I can click a straight line and another straight line. If I click and pull I have a curved line. So those are some basics of working with the pen tool. Pen tool is mostly linked to Illustrator, which is a graphic drawing program. And we will have several J School Tech videos up on that down the road. This is just going to give you a brief overview to how you can use um, the pen tool in InDesign. So what we are going to do is create a shape. And our shape pull this handle up here. It's going to be like a little leaf. And I like that. And with my leaf I'm actually going to swap my fill and my stroke. So now I have a fill with no stroke. Great thing about these pen tools, you can see I've got a little notch in there. I can come back in and when I select that point and tweak my handles, kind of just that, get a smoother look there. Once I have a shape created, um, I also wanted to show you how you can use some object transformations in InDesign. Um, and these are again all under the object menu. So if I wanted to repeatedly rotate this, think around a circle, I could use my transform rotate and let's say I wanted it to go 45 degrees. Click preview. You might notice where, where is it rotating from? Well right now it's rotating from this point. If I want to change that I can go up to my object transform menu and I've selected this upper point. Let's say I want to rotate it from this bottom center point. So if I rotate, now I'm rotating from that bottom center point. So now if I go to Object Transform, I'm going to rotate again. We'll type in that same 45 degree angle. And this is the look we get. So if we copy it, you can see we have added another object to it. Okay. 
Um, and so you can use that to build a floral type of shape. Um, the other cool thing that you can do, and this is kind of the idea is it would eventually, with a few additions, be like a little tulip. And we can draw our little stem down here. Okay, we'll swap our fill on our stroke. Um, you can also use pathfinders to unite these objects. And this is true for any object you have. So let's go back to our ob window menu and then object, bring up pathfinders. A lot of cool ways to do pathfinders. I'm actually going to do a bonus video on pathfinders next. Select your object. You can use the add. Now that is all one shape. Since I have this interesting path, wouldn't it be interesting to put text along there? That is yet another use for your pen tool. Let's do a high contrast color so we can see it. I'm just going to click down and just kind of repeating that shape. So now I've got a path. If I grab my type tool, change it to type on a path, click down on my path, and I can type on a path. And so obviously we'd want to do some editing and we'll cover typing on a path more in our type menu, but that is how you would use your pen tool to kind of create a shape. Other things you can do with your objects, and we're going to delete our text for a minute here. Um, let's say that we're going to have this be a green color, and obviously we would want our stem to go below our tulip flower. We can also use our object arrange to send that to the back. These are keyboard shortcuts I really enjoy using. I usually just dial down repeatedly using um, command right bracket or command left bracket. Um, but you can always go up to the arrange menu and that sends it to the back. So lots of things to explore here with your transformations, um, including flipping your objects vertical and horizontal. And notice you can clear all those out, repeat the transformations, etc. So those are basics of your pen tool and arranging objects. Um, I hope you check our bonus video out on using pathfinders.